more controversy in the Smash community. So what happened now, based on the title of the video, you might be wondering, well, how did Hero get banned? Well, it turns out today, uh, or actually when you see this video the next day, but Hero has been banned from competition, aka tournaments, from South Australia's very own tournament. This is right here on the South Australia Smash Central Twitter. After some deliberation, we have decided to ban Hero from South Australia Smash Central tournaments as of August 14th. Please read the tweet longer for more information as to why. So let's just take a look into the tweet longer. Oh God, <laughs> oh God, this is, this is blinding me, but I'm gonna read it, so bear with me guys. As of August 14th, here is banned at competitive events run by SASC. After deliberation and plenty of discussion, we have concluded that Heroes Assigned as a character is fundamentally dependent on randomness to the point that it is not reasonable in a competitive environment. RNG permits every element of Heroes Assigned from spell selection to random critical hits and hocus pocus effects. While randomness has two variant degrees, has always been present in competitive games and other Smash games, and Heroes is so dependent on randomness that it cannot be played around or accounted for in competitive play. The argument is similar to the reason why items are banned in competitive play. This really goes back to my previous video on Hero that I made a couple days ago or like last week, which was the, the hero drama uh, in the Smash community where I was saying that people wanted to ban this character because in a lot of ways, based on the philosophies that people have within the competitive scene, Smash Bros community culture, they ban RNG elements and they ban any elements of luck that is perceived within the character. And Hero has a lot of uncontrollable aspects of RNG that are much greater than other characters. Therefore, I feel like he's going to be a prime suspect to be banned. Not to mention that the character also has a language barrier. For example, at Super Smash Con, which was the most recent Super Major tournament, the players Puppy and Zachary Puppy, one of the best Pokemon trainers in the US, and Zachary, the best Japanese player, uh, teamed up in the doubles tournament. Now, they had to fight Salem in the doubles bracket, and Salem plays Hero now. So when Hero uh, was using the commands and the match, Salem needed it to be in English because obviously he speaks English, so he wanted his spells in English. But that meant that Zachary was not able to tell what spells meant what. So then in the middle of the match, he was handicapped in the set because he was unable to read the commands and react in time. Therefore, he got hit by a lot of dumb stuff based on what I heard about the set. So the character has a massive language barrier as well, which is a pretty good reason to ban him as well. Not that I'm saying that I'm in support of any kind of ban, but I'm just saying, how do you solve the issue of a language barrier? Like, what if I were to play a Japanese player or a Japanese player were to play someone from America in their uh, home field? Like, what, the American player is going to change it to English? The American player is not going to have the issue that he doesn't read uh, Japanese, so that he's going to be unable to play. So how do you balance both aspects where the menu language dependent is going to potentially change uh, or give massive advantages or disadvantages to players based on if they can read languages? It's a problem that doesn't really have a fix and it's been unheard of in the competitive community so i'm not sure how that's going to be fixed and then the uh the tweet longer continues additionally even other random effects in the game such as game and watches hammer or peaches turnips as i mentioned in my previous video still require the player to connect with the move although it is not a central issue many of here's random tools such as magic burst edge guards uh, unlock unblockable kamikazes or psych up critical shield breaks are, are frequently unavoidable and the who sucks Random kill power and mobility buffs as well as free zoom recoveries have no counterplay and can significantly affect the outcome of a match. I feel like that's not true because like, for example, Shulk has random, not random, but like has many powers that he can access to, which all of them have some kind of counterplay in effect. For example, in the terms of hero, uh, you can see him pick accelerate and it does last a very short amount of time. In the case of zoom, I'm not going to defend that though. The character, um, I heard actually that apparently the closest you are to the uh, side of the stage or aka closer to the magnifying glass where you are about to die off the level to the sides it actually makes it much more likely for you to pull out zoom and get a free recovery out of it so the character definitely can just negate this advantage attack which is probably one of the things i don't like i don't think zoom is a good tool to have because it kind of just nullifies this advantage at random and that's not a good thing because like what am i gonna have to go for an edge guard but he might zoom if I prepare for a zoom, then he might just recover. It creates an angle of uncertainty where like I might not be able to edge card him at all because he can just mix me up like that for free on him not doing anything. And it's also luck dependence. It's not like I can react in time either way. And he can activate it from anywhere on the stage. So that's a little more reasonable to complain about. We want to emphasize that this ban is not because Hero is too strong, but because he is anti-competitive. We believe that tournaments are meant to provide an opportunity for players to demonstrate their skill and that as a general rule, the player who plays more skillfully shall emerge victorious. Here is the sign as a very strong potential to de-emphasize player skill, which isn't fair for those who work hard to improve their abilities for competition. So there you have it. The character is strictly banned because they do not believe he aligns with the competitive philosophies 
of competitive Smash Bros, which as I said before in my previous video, the drama of the hero and the Smash community was going to be a quintessential point for people to move this character forward. There are three issues with hero right now. The first one is the language barrier, which is not something that anyone has come up with a, with a fix, which completely invalidates potentially international competition because you may put international players at a severe disadvantage based on where they travel. And for a character that's relevant in competition, hero is broken as in like the best character in the game but he's certainly a competitive character, high tier, top tier. So then he's going to be a character that people are going to fight and this character will pretty much disable competition or make it much harder or add random handicaps to opponents that are outside game components because of the language issues. So that's going to be a problem that I don't know how people are going to fix, which in other competitive games, for example, card games, when this has happened with certain cards, these cards actually get banned. So there is some precedent to look at there. Um, so that's one issue. The second and third issue are just things like RNG, for example, like critical hits and ho Hocus Pocus in general. Those are two and three issues. So I don't know how the community is going to react to this. So let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about this. But let me take a look at how people were reacting to this ban because people have been talking about this on, on Reddit, on Smash, Smash Bros. tweeted about it, the, the previews, the previews biggest uh, uh, forum for competitive Smash Bros. discussion. Uh, as I can see, people seem upset by this. Uh, I mean, a lot of people were complaining to ban him. But uh, people were definitely absolutely, uh, you know, upset about this. As you can see, some of the top replies are, you know, negative memes. Obviously, these are memes, right? But these are obviously comments where people are unhappy about it. Hero isn't even that good. He wasn't banned because he was good. Uh, D1 says this full anger makes it seem like his shield break options and other tools are all guaranteed. I thought a Mega Mushroom Hero circle camp, run away to the edge and use get up attack at the right time. He is so slow and with enough practice, even lower tiers have a chance. As you can see, D1 making a very strong argument. <laughs> People tagging little Z, who's from Australia. <laughs> and then you have the heroes, the hero memes here. <laughs> there definitely some funny memes here. Now, keep in mind, this ban is not Australia wide ban. But like I said, this is how the conversation is going to get started because other places in the world are going to take a look at a South Australia ban hero. What if we ban hero? Like, what if, for example, now the entirety of Australia bans hero, then another country, then Canada, then Japan? I, I don't know, right? It, it could basically go widespread from this point on. A lot of people are feeling negative about this, but then you have other opinions, people that were agreeing to ban here. For example, uh, Leffen uh, actually made a tweet about the situation. So now we have the Leffen tweet that I just mentioned. Good on South Australia for banning here. I wish more will follow suit, although I doubt it. I'd rather play with items and final smashes versus hero. He's clearly not designed for competitive play and anyone decent at smash should be able to see that regardless of your ban opinion. The crits plus down BRNG plus Hocus Pocus plus language barrier, please ban. Now, a lot of people are talking about this, that he's not that good, he wouldn't play much in competitive, are the funniest arguments. A lot more people seem more in favor now that Leffen said it. Leffen makes some very compelling arguments to what the character should be banned. But as you can see, um, there's a common argument where people are saying that the only reason this character should be banned is because new players or people that are unskillful or don't have tournament results are asking for the character to get banned. But Leffen is one of the most accomplished uh, competitive players that we have in the entirety of the Smash Bros. scene. And he is uh, publicly advocating for a hero ban. So it is not just an issue of lower rank players asking for this, but also professional players are talking about it as well. Leffen is not the only person who has made tweets in this uh, in this manner. But there are certainly other professional players that are, uh, you know, saying that he should not be banned at all. So then, for example, uh, some people are disregarding this ban, saying that, well, uh, South Australia is not a relevant region, so we don't really care if he's banned or anything like that. It just doesn't matter. Um, there's also some additional points that they made that they're linking right here. Some additional points since it's got a bit more attention than expected. The ban is indefinite and not unilateral. Uh, sorry for mispronouncing that. Will the game get patched? Will other scenes follow suit? We'll look at hero's results in a month or two and decide again. It's more of a preventive kind of ban where they're banning him right now and then they're going to review the ban uh, with, as time goes on because the character may get patched and then a lot of the RNG effects might get patched, might get standardized, might get changed and then it won't be as much of an issue. But it is absolutely an issue for South Australia right here. So they're going to revalue re this later on. But some of the arguments that they're saying, uh, they're saying SA is a small scene and the vast majority of people who actually attend events here agree with the reasoning. There's an ideal place for this kind of experiment. It's a stretch of logic to conclude that this is my slippery slope into the death of the Australian ultimate community. That is true because, like I said, this is not the entirety of Australia. This is only a part of Australia. The argument that it's too soon or the meta needs time to develop, it's fair to do this now before anyone's put serious time into the character than upset players who might have put months of work into it. That's a fair argument because people say that it's too soon, but at the same time, if it's an issue and you don't ban the character soon enough, 
then people put too much time into the character and then that might upset a player base for example we've seen this happen with men and i and bayonetta players where people were talking about ben and the character much later and then all the people that spend time into this character you were kind of just priving them from playing the game in the first place so as i explained before in my drama video i'm in the fence that i feel like this character should not be banned yet i feel like the biggest issue personally are crits because crits are just simply just you can just undeservedly uh kill someone at 20 percent with a force match which you know you, that you don't deserve that it's just random i think crits are not very competitive we'll put it that way and i also feel like of all things that here has the language barrier is probably one of the worst things because first of all i feel like if a character can just simply put serious handicaps on competitors based on if they're international or not and smash bros is a competitive worldwide game it is definitely the biggest issue to keep this character legal and furthermore i think the character should be patched where if items are off then hero should not get effects from items aka mushrooms or things like that that will actually probably fix things like hocus pocus tremendously without necessarily gutting the character so i think that is a good way to look at it at least but anyway here's reddit uh our smash bros talking about it uh hero ban and astana australia pretty much the same information i just talked about so from the previous points that it's not that hero is too strong but because he's anti-competitive it says i pretty strongly disagree with this ban there are many examples of competitive games where rng elements where you don't see people complain even now the fgc games have elements of randomness that no one gets banned this is really preemptive and a little overboard the problem that i see with this kind of argument is that i don't think there's a fighting game character that has had the degree of random elements that a hero has had so i think it's a pretty unique situation that we are dealing with now keep in mind i'm not advocating or agreeing with the band like i said i'm on the camp of no band yet i played other fighting games and i've seen other fighting games but i don't really recall a scenario where there's been a character that can just completely do things that other characters are unable to do based on you know roulette effects essentially so i'm not sure where the comparison is going to here and then it says right here i personally hate competitive things that rely on luck my friends and i compare rocket league to fortnite with Fortnite, you're so dependent on luck to find proper weapons, having the better ground, etc. Rocket League, it's two teams with the exact same things, no loot, nothing like that. Whoever's better almost always comes out on top. There's nothing wrong with either. I prefer the RL system more uh, because to me it seems more fair, but I also totally get the appeal of the RNG style of hero. I mean, the character is very fun to play with and the character is interested to play. I mean, pretty much when I play Smash, nowadays I spend the majority of my time simply playing hero on nothing really else. So I understand why people are having fun with this character because he is indeed fun. Some people are saying this is the same scene where Kira won their biggest tournament. That was in Melbourne and was won by a Queensland player. I'm from SA myself, but, <laughs> but damn, all of Australia is <laughs> screwed. I don't know if you're using that to describe the scene, but this seems more like a reason to praise the Kira player than uh, crap in the scene. Rest in peace to any SA players that try to compete in other regions. A lot of people disagree. A lot of people agree in this thread. Um, definitely a little bit more towards negativity, I will say, which is funny because last week there was a complete meltdown on Smash Bros. social media where people wanted this character banned completely in your reaction, which is when I made my original video. But now people seem to have uh, come around and they want this character to uh, not be banned, but there's also a decent amount of portion that do want him banned. So public opinion has shifted a little bit. This is crazy. Uh, like I said before, this is the first ban that we have seen on this character. We haven't really seen anything like this in Smash history, really. Um, there are a couple examples where I feel like Bayonetta was banned. Back when Bayonetta was nerfed for the first time, uh, she was actually banned in a region of Spain, I believe. This is back in the day, and people were definitely talking about that. So that is definitely something that uh, has precedent, but like then she was unbanned after the nerfs. But in this scenario, um, this is the first time that we've seen a ban on Ultimate, and definitely one of the more isolated scenarios that we haven't seen anything like this really happened in the scene other than that very secluded scenario of Bayonetta, but people did talk about that back in the day. Uh, yeah, this feels a little bit ridicu ridiculous. Banning the characters early where the best representation result the character has gotten was a 49th Smash Gun. That is true. The character did not really perform well at Super Smash Gun. People were hoping for a top 8 performance, but nothing of the sort. Only cuts off his metagame and prevents both counterplay from being developed, which here is from Shield is news to bait and out the Smash attacks to interrupt the magic burst. So rushing down here and forcing the command selection to happen cancel. The character's players from showing whether this character has potential to truly warrant a ban or simply a place in the upper mid tier. Let the hero play. That is definitely seems to be the common consensus. Regardless, the character is banned from South Australian competition. We will see if the rest of Australia follows through or other places follow through. I will keep you guys informed. With that said, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with this ban. What are you guys' arguments? And I'll keep you all updated on any developments. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, so you guys stay tuned with more content. With that said, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.